Hello and welcome, Like Hudguns here, showing you how to get Xbox Media Center, the easiest possible way to install it onto your computer without like having to go for all the add-ons. First off, what you want to do is you want to go onto Google, or I'll put a link to this in, in the description, type in WinRAR, if you don't have this already, or 7-zip or something like that. And you just download whichever bit operating system you have, whether you have 32 or 64, and go through the install process. I do not need to show you this. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go to the other link in the description for the actual XBMC. With this has all like add-ons on it and stuff, and just save it. And it will take a minute. I'm just going to pause the video whilst it downloads. Okay, welcome back. So now the um, download has just completed. And um, what we're going to do is open up the file and locate it. And you're going to put it on your desktop just to, for simplicity's sake. And just paste it on there. Replace. Yeah, because I've already got it on there. But okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to right click and click extract here. And it'll take a minute. And I'm just going to pause the video whilst this happens. Okay, now it's almost complete and it shouldn't take too long right once you extract it you'll get this file and what you need to do is right click and click cut and you need to go to computer on your local disk C you need to go to program files if you got like one in brackets like this it'll be, say x86 or x34 I think or something you go to this one if you got that if you just got a normal program file, you just go to that one, and then you just right click in, in there, just click paste, click continue. The reason why you can't just um, extract it straight into there is because you need administrator rights and it doesn't come up with them. Um... Okay, now you need to right click on it, and right click, and click on XBMC, this one here, right click, and, either, and, create, uh, and click pin to taskbar or create shortcut or both you can. So create a shortcut and then just drag it. No, just drag the shortcut onto your desktop. And then you, when you boot it up, it should run perfectly fine. I don't know whether you can see that. You might not pick it up, but if you see all the add-ons are there. Okay, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like. And I'll hopefully be seeing you all guys soon.